Hey guys, this, um, this video is going to be hopefully a positive journey about me taking my first diamond painting, boxing it up, and putting it in my luggage, and having it make the 11 hour journey, plus a layover, from Tunis, Tunisia to the United States so I can give this as a Christmas gift. So here is my first diamond painting. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to give it as a Christmas gift and a sparkle. But the realization of this idea has set in that now I need to get this to the United States and uh, check out my craft area. Look at all that. Yarn. Diamond painting stuff. More stuff. The iron. Because the baby for some reason likes to play with the cord and it freaks me out. But so here we go. I'm gonna show you me boxing it up and some little videos along the way as it makes its journey from Tunisia to Frankfurt, Germany to the United States and then the grand reveal in the United States and see how it does. Fingers crossed. Okay. I've got coffee to pump me up. I have scissors. I can't find any packing tape. I can only find this tape, but we're gonna make we're gonna make do with what we have. This Amazon box. I don't even know if I can get it all on here. This is actually the Amazon box that two of my diamond paintings came in that I ordered. So I figured we're gonna do what we can. I'm gonna cut this thing up, tape it back together, have hopefully two flat sides. Put this in the middle, tape it around, and pray for the best. I also, as a, um, my backup plan, I will be bringing my packs of leftover diamonds because if any pop off during this journey, I will be able to touch the painting up in the United States, but yes, fingers crossed. <laughs> This will work. First, tape it to get a little stable. And then I will tape it down the middle. Oh gosh. I know they have these like large things for artists to put the work in. Maybe I need to get that, but really transporting a finished diamond painting is not something I'm gonna be doing a lot of. Most of them will be staying in my house. They won't be making an international journey. Okay, since this is not as sturdy as the other one that I'm going to use, I'm going to have that be the bottom. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I love it so much. I mean, it's a gift. Don't try and convince myself to keep it. It is a gift. Oh, there's a wonderful piece of dog hair on it. It's a gift. Okay, here's the, oh. The bottom part still has the big like Amazon tape on. Okay, 
Okay. Perfect. I guess. Perfect. That is pretty good, pretty stable. Nice. Okay, let's start wrapping this bad boy up. If anybody out there wants to send me good vibes and hope that this arrives unscathed. I would appreciate it. <laughs> My plans are, when I get to the United States, I've ordered some seal, this um, this diamond painting seal. I've never sealed a diamond painting before, so um, Susan, if you're watching this, I took your advice and I ordered the diamond painting seal, the aqua, the, it's in a blue bottle, and I'll have all that on the video. And, um, I'm gonna seal it, and then I'm going to take it to my local Michaels, and they have some nice frames there. I probably won't get the professional framing, but I'll just get a photo, uh, or a larger photo frame that looks like it works well in. And then wrap it up as a gift and give it on Christmas. I mean, this looks hilarious. And I think after I give it as a gift, and I will tell the person who receives it to check out all the videos of me putting it together. I mean, really, this, I can't think of another way to transport it. This kind of is the, what I figured would be the best idea. Okay. I mean, at this point, I could put more tape on it, but really, it's, it's in there. Okay. Fingers crossed. Okay, this may look like a mess, but this is actually the gift bag I've been putting together for Christmas. So, I've got a little thing for my nephew, some really beautiful uh, Tunisian houseware, blankets, Towels. They make beautiful, beautiful handmade blankets and towels here in Tunisia. Yeah, that looks just like a mess on this camera. But one thing I'm thinking, this is all really, really soft stuff. So I'm thinking it's um, my wrapped up painting will go in this bag. I actually have this little area right here. And I was like, wait a minute, the next heavy piece of luggage is going to be pressed right on top, right on top of here. But, um, I think, I think it'll work fine. And again, I'm bringing my drills, I'm bringing all my stuff with me for this diamond painting in case anything gets displaced. falls flat it's still got that cardboard to protect it and if something heavy lands on it I put the diamonds up so if something heavy lands on it, I would just press the diamonds down into the sticky stuff there it is that's my checked we'll see how the diamond painting holds up diamond painting is okay in the baggage. Fingers crossed guys. It made it. I don't know what condition it's in but we're in Germany and the painting is in here. Fingers crossed it looks good. I'm not gonna open it up until we get all the way to the last destination so. There it is. The diamond painting bag. I just spent two days in long-term baggage storage in Germany and now it's gonna be checked to the United States. I have not opened it yet so I have no idea what it looks like. all of our bags but I'm pretty sure that is the one with the diamond painting and they're all just sitting here we just landed in DC so we gotta check that out see how it made it hey so we're at our hotel all of our bags made it and here's the bag with the diamond painting 
we have opened it to start unpacking our items and our gifts for the holidays but I've not opened the diamond painting yet it is still in here and I'm going to open it up on camera with you guys and see if it made it in pristine condition or figure out really what the damage is and what I need to quickly fix before I gift it. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go. You can kind of see it's starting to poke out of the bottom. Let's get this out. Oh, wrong, wrong part. Oh, it's good. There it is, if you like. Okay. Put this down, and here we go. I mean, the it doesn't look like it was super beat in or anything. It's really good. I'm not sure where the best place to really start undoing it is. I put so much tape on this thing. But let's see. Wow, doing this one-handed. Masking tape is easy to break with nails. What is it going to be? Oh, getting some camera help. Awesome. Okay. Sorry. Don't remember which way is up or down either. Let's check this out. Oh, missed one. Okay. Okay, let me flip around. Well, no drills are falling out, so I think that's a really great sign. Yay! It made it! It completely made it! It's not smudged. No drills are gone. That's cool. Oh, we have someone else. The baby's looking at it. That's really great. I was worried that a big piece of luggage might hit this one on top and then go at an angle and smudge it all in the in the goo on the page, but it worked. Yay! So the next step from here is I need to get something to seal it, and then I need to take it to Michael's and get a frame. So this is great. We'll keep filming all of that and put it in video so you can see every step. 